Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a video on one of my favorite trends that I've been seeing a lot and something that I feel like is always kind of in for the spring. It's basically using a really pretty silky headscarf as either a hair accessory or to cover up your hair when you're having a bad hair day or to just add a little something to your outfit. Now this one I actually purchased from Nordstrom's and I'm going to let you look at it for a second. As you can see, it's a really beautiful silky fabric in like this purple and pink and green color. And then there's this really pretty gem right here. And then it has the elastic band on the back. Now, I actually purchased this from Nordstrom for $38. And today I'm going to be showing you not only how I wear these headscarves, but also how you can make one for a lot less. So that's what the video is going to be, and I hope you guys enjoy. So as you saw from my video, lots of celebrities love wearing these as well, and there are many different ways to wear them. So the first way, obviously, I'm just going to show you what this looks like on. Now since this one is elastic, it's kind of hard to wear it on your head like this because you get this bunch up of hair. So the best way to actually wear this one is just like a normal headband. I like to just push my hair back and then pull the jewel so it's kind of on the side of my head. So obviously this is the most practical way to wear the headband. As you can see it keeps all of the hair out of your face. It's great for when it's hot outside and you have bangs or you have layers that are around your face and you don't want them just like getting stuck to your face and just annoying you throughout the day. So I love to do this when it's warm out and I want to just pull all my hair back. Another thing that you can do is you can then kind of have fun with the hair that is left out. You could curl it, leave it straight. Um, you could also make fun different hairstyles with it. I like to a lot of the time just go ahead and braid it because I like to just have all my hair kind of together and out of my way. So this is a very practical way to wear the headband and it just keeps your hair out of your face and it gives you a fresh, very simple hairstyle. So this is the first way that I like to wear this one. Now this next scarf I bought for $6 from a local boutique here where I live and it's a really pretty silky material. I love the bright colors. Now for this next look I'm going to keep my hair in the braid and I'm going to just tie this behind where my bangs are. So I'm going to leave the bangs out. I'm actually going to go ahead and double it. So I go like this and then criss cross and then around the back I'm going to secure it. And then this is another way that you can wear these scarves. As you can see, you still get all the really pretty colors and everything. This one is a little less practical just because it's not pulling your hair back and holding it in place, but it's more of like an accessory for an outfit. Now this is another way I like to wear this headscarf. So again, I like to pull it behind my bangs and kind of leave it a little bit messy. And then again, of course, you're just going to cross the two strands and then tie around just like that and then I like to take the hair and kind of messily grab it and create a messy bun And as you can see, this is a really cute and easy way to incorporate the headscarf into one of your outfits. It also gets your hair kind of up and it just looks really effortless and put together at the same time, which is why I definitely love this style of having the messy bun and then the headscarf tied on as well. Now another great way to wear the headscarf is to actually wrap it around your head and it kind of gives that whole boho hippie style, which I think is really cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it and fold it so it then is like this. And then you can just go ahead and take it right across the forehead. And then come around to the back of your hair and secure it. I like to leave the ends down on this one because I feel like it gives a really pretty like loose fluttery vibe. Now I feel like this look is a little bit harder to pull off, but I feel like if you pair it with a big pair of sunglasses, you just look really carefree and ready for the beach. Another simple way to add a little bit is to just create a knot inside of the scarf that we're going to be using. And this is kind of going to act as the um, accessory piece to the look, and then just go ahead and tie it as you would normally.
And as you can see, the little knot just adds a little bit more to the overall look, and I think it adds a cute little touch. Now if you want a headband that is a little bit fancier, like this one that I purchased from Nordstrom's with the really pretty gem, I'm going to show you a quick and simple way to achieve the same look with the elastic band and everything, but not pay the price for this one. So basically what you're going to need is first a headscarf. So this one is a really pretty butterfly pattern that I got from a local boutique. It was about $8. Then you're going to need an elastic headband. Now you can find these at Walgreens um, or they have them at Nordstrom's for I believe like $8. But just like an elastic stretchy band that you'd wear as a headband. So I'm going to go ahead and take the scarf and start to twist the ends. And then I'm going to take the first twisted end and attach it to the band by just tying a knot. And this is great because you can easily remove this. Um, there are more permanent methods, but I want to be able to reuse the scarf in other ways. So I'm not going to like hot glue it on or sew it on because I might want to take it off at some point. But just making a nice knot so it is secure on the elastic band. Then I'm going to secure it on the opposite end of the band. So then this is what it should look like once you have the two ends secured on the band. Now the last finishing touch, instead of a jewel, I'm actually going to be using this butterfly jeweled brooch that I found from a local craft store here. I bought this for about $4. It's really pretty. I'm just going to go ahead and pin this right on to the fabric. So now you have your very own silky headband with a jeweled applique, just like the one that I purchased from Nordstrom. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on and show you what it looks like once you have it in your hair. Alright, so here is the finished look. As you can see, I think the butterfly clip is so pretty. And I actually think this one that I made is even prettier than the one that I bought for $34. So obviously, the one that I made was well under $20, and I think it actually turned out even cuter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick and simple DIY. I know it was not very complex, but I really liked the way it turned out, and I hope you guys liked it as well. So if you like these types of videos, let me know in the comments below, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.